that's all the magnitude we're talking about with regard to to expenses. Just you know putting that in. And, uh, there's a couple other issues along that line. Is that uh, I've got a number of suggestions on what we can do to improve it. One of them is the advertising, which we talked about. Another one, and I don't have the information from Jackie on the uh, reading of the uh, of the clubhouse room. I don't, have a, I don't have a recommendation to make what to charge for that. Uh, I've asked Jackie uh, she, to, to look into it and talk to you about maybe doing some advertising in the, in the Gulf Shores newspaper to try to get some snowbirds up here to, to you know, to let them know, you know what we got to offer that we are in our one full 18 holes now. Uh, I would like to maybe point out that uh, I got the floor here. City employees that are doing building and so forth have got their plate full, it seems to me like, with, with all the things that we want to do. Uh, and maybe some priority needs to be given. One, number one, we talked about bathrooms on the back nine this year, hoping to get that put in. We talked about that during the budget time. And, uh, and uh, another thing that, that I was pursuing is that the leaderboard out in front of the, of the uh, clubhouse right now is rather dilapidated. The roof needs fixing and a lot of rotten boards on it and a suggestion has been made and I got a sketch being prepared to just move it to replace it, tear it down and put a new one up on the back side. So if that but again that's another project for the right. for these guys. And so I you know somehow they, I don't know that they're gonna be able to get well, all this stuff the done. The priority is the one we put in the budget and that's the bathrooms that they right. was part that's, needs to be. Yeah. I already actually they should have already been done. This is Davis. We had Davis Park and we had the back nine bathroom also we talked about. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, now we got the leaderboard, now we got a, a big so anyway. Uh, anyway, that's uh, well, one thing we could do about that is uh, you know, if, if you know if they have more than they can do, if they're thirty hour employees, okay. Uh, you know, we could you know, I could write a letter to the personnel board and allow them until they get some of these projects done to work 40 hours instead of 30. They do that in the summertime anyway. They're seasonal employees. Uh, I would I, suggest that myself. Uh, and, you know, it's just, you know, I'd like y'all's blessings on it because that's going to be uh, four extra work days. But with the money we save by letting them do some of the building, mm -hmm. uh, it would be way more it's well worth saving than it would. Than it would what we were paying out. Sure. You know, they don't really make that much considering what they do. I'm fine with that. Uh, now's the time to be getting them knocked out while it's not. It gets real, real hot. hot. Yeah. But uh, I know them priority, but no, oh, this late's down. We gotta, we've yeah. got to. Right. Well, they've been working on the piers a long time. Yeah. Speaking of that, uh, speaking of that, uh, I might want to talk at the next next day, say at you meeting about uh, them supporting the effort to go around. I already talked to them about that, and Donnie's told me that he wasn't comfortable with that. Uh, uh, you know, when he was working on the down the forest, the, the back, the what do you call it? Track hoe. The track hoe you know, went over into the lake, remember? And he said that he doesn't have men that's uh, experienced enough to get on the edge of that lake. He, did, he didn't want the same thing to happen to one of his employees that happened to him. So he's not really uh, interested. I had a different impression. Okay. okay. Well, that's what he told me, so if you want to uh, talk to him about really? that. We, not, might, we might could uh, get with the uh, the county, you know, they got that thing that scoops right. the ditches. We might could over a couple of weekends pay one of their guys to come out there with that thing and do some of that. Well, it'd be the same thing. You got to be able to serve to do that. Well, what was y'all going to do with it? I guess what I had in mind was taking a, when that lake dried out, this, this is just my thought. I'm a layman on this now. You know, what, what my thoughts was take a small bulldozer. Maybe Larry, you know, if that lake dries, when that lake dries up, we get get it pumped on down there, and uh, take a small bulldozer, just go around the edge and cut that thing down, and if the dirt goes out in the lake, 
we don't have uh, to deal I with also it. talked to the guy that's building the dam, and he told me, he said, you talking about, he said, you, you realize how much dirt you're talking about removing out of here? And uh, so, yeah, I you know, I, okay, that's a different perception when I talked to him about what we wanted done, mm -hmm. and uh, he said, what do y'all plan on doing all that dirt? He said, this is a tremendous amount of dirt you're talking about. And uh, so, you know, and Donnie also asked me about the dirt. He said, well, you know, you know, if you do that, what are you going to do with all the dirt? I said, well, we could certainly use the dirt. I mean, but I wouldn't want somebody to haul it off if we decide to do that. But now you talking about Jim putting it in the lake? I'm talking about just cutting, cutting the rim out. So it's, right. so it's about that. Uh -huh. So you got a rim all the way around the lake at the water yeah. line is what I'm suggesting. Yeah. And Walker, Walter's one that came up with this idea to begin with. He said, Oh, yeah, and, it would and, definitely help and the grass problem. The grass problem, and everything, mm -hmm. yeah. And, uh, well, I, guess, well, I don't know, maybe, it's, maybe one of those guys working on the first dam one came up with it. We were talking about it out there one time, and uh, it seemed to me like yeah. such a good idea and an ideal opportunity. If you don't do it now, you well, never do it. would be beautiful. I mean, you uh, the looks of it. Yeah, and, and I, I guess I didn't really appreciate the the issue of moving the dirt. I didn't mind. My, my, Perception was not to remove the dirt, but to just cut it out and, and do a leveling effect so it's you around the lake, and that way you don't have to deal with the expense of hauling the dirt off and that sort of thing. Is what my perception was. Mm -hmm. Certainly, didn't, I hadn't, well, I hadn't thought one, about that. There's one thing we can't guarantee is, is that it will dry out. Well, it's true. Well, if the trend keeps on, well, that's true too. It won't ever dry. Yeah, and, and that was one thing that Nani said. He said that 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 is so soft around the edges of that lake. You get a track hoe in there, he said that, um, he said, right out, you know, he said, I, I really, it makes me nervous thinking about it. Okay. You'd almost, if you think to do what, what we're talking about, you'd almost have to have a small dozer on there. Well, that's what, the, yeah. that's what yeah. the, the, the uh, yeah. conversation I had, that was what yeah. was the, you know, you know what you could do, Jim? I'm sorry? You know what you could do on that? Check with Bobby's up. These up and see what they would charge to run a dozer around, around that lake and just shove the dirt further into the lake, not build a dam or anything, but shove the dirt in there. You see? Ask. That's fine if you want to do that, Jim. You want to get Bob or Steve and ask them? Yeah. Well, they won't know, you know, just get the price of it and see if they'll do it. Well, they go, they go, well. They'll give you so much an hour for, for, for Yeah, but I mean, he would right. tell you he's whether he's even willing to put yeah, a dozer in there or not. Do, whether it's a doable project. Yeah, he might, he might tell you, no, I ain't gonna put my dozer in there, and then that would say, exactly. well, exactly. there you go. Exactly, very well, maybe the day. Yeah. Sure, I'll check it. Okay. okay, is that all you have on the golf course? Well, I gave you, Jim brought all this to the council meeting last time. We all got a sheet of it, several sheets of it. And I had Jackie to run this for me a couple months ago. And I was waiting on the opportunity to show this to y'all. I thought I'd made you a copy, Jerry. Uh, I I'm sure I did. Okay. Well, uh, I think Lord made one for everybody. That's it. Uh, okay. This just gives you, we got silver king, bottle back for golf course, spring hill, golf pines, uh, Bay City Chatham, and Quail Creek. And out of all these golf courses, there's some of you with your own golf course that lets them have private carts. And, uh, but it's just been something that's been brought to my attention that uh, a lot of the golf courses are struggling right now, and uh, Chatham is one of them, even though they have, their green fees are higher than their $30, um, well y'all see that, green fees are 35 green and cart, and ours is 23 and we allow just about, well we allow anybody that has a private cart to come in and play. Uh, they pay five dollars 